Okay, Tim, so here at uh, Mount Burke Station, you're planning to up the deer numbers. What's the rationale behind that? Uh, well, with part of the development, we're sort of changing uh, the vegetation type, and um, we needed to, uh, on the hill, we've changed that uh, from largely a, a native pastures ward to a, to a proof type sward and then and the reason we're sort of looking at upping the deer numbers is that um, long term we see the deer best suited to the extensive hill country in our plans and so that that will replace sort of mostly where we've run fine wool sheep in the past and so they and 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 it's going to be sort of integrated with a sort of a with a crossbred flock as well so uh, we we see the crossbreds complementing the deer and the deer are, are, have got their place primarily in, in, and it fits our grass growing season a lot, be, lot better. We're not having to, uh, you know, feed pregnant sheep uh, when we haven't got the grass growth. Uh, deer fawn later when the grass is growing much quicker. And so they, they uh, also uh, have got quite a lot of native country which has a resident feral herd. And, they seem to thrive in that cold, hard climate that I've spent years trying to make sheep grow. You can understock with deer and use the sheep as a buffer to, uh, to as, as required with, uh, with the seasonal growth. And in order to capture the, the full value, you've, you've got to finish them. Uh, unless you know the, the you, you can't. You know, I, we, that's the reason for the irrigation. You know, you've got to. You've got to gather, uh, capture the full value. It doesn't matter how much land you have, certainly in this part of the world, it's actually how much you can irrigate through six, eight months of the year when when, when the Almighty isn't supplying the rain. And, and just, just to finish, Tim, numbers, um, what are you going from and, and to, uh, ideally? With the other, the, uh, about, uh, we've had a pretty static number, about 450, uh, and you know, I've stayed at that level because I needed to uh, would need to fence in a completely new area, and so therefore I would end up having pretty much a terminal side of things. So it, it's like running a two flock, two herd system. So, uh, but you know, it just depends uh, what happens and outcomes with say tenure review. You know, we've got an area there that would suit running a thousand to fifteen hundred hinds out on the highway side looking uh, on the Mount Moore Hill yeah which presently we're um, you know we're not really utilizing enough is this partly sort of driven by what's happening in the markets as well you see an opportunity there for people sort of fairly stable income well um, it's been a big shift in focus from wool to meat and you know and I, I see many more hungry people around the world willing to pay for our meat and we make a pretty good job of uh, marketing it, packaging it, and I think we've got a bit of a competitive advantage. We're safe, seem to be safe, and um, and we, we 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 can do it consistently. So I, I I've, I've uh, that's the reason for my focus from you know wool to meat.